Yo, what's up guys? It is time for the week 11 predictions. But first, let's talk about week 10. Well, let's talk about week 10. Um, I went 10-4 in this week. Uh, what did I get wrong, you ask? Uh, I got the Packers and Bears wrong, because I suck. You know, I really don't suck. I mean, Packers are looking good now. So, what are you going to do? Uh, Jets, Bucks, I got wrong. I <laughs> I don't know how I got that wrong. You have James Winston out. You have Mike Evans out. And the Bucks are better than the Jets in this game? How? Someone explain that to me. The Jets are looking good this year, but they can't beat a team without their two star players? I don't get it. Anywho, um, got the Cowboys Falcons wrong. Because uh, Cowboys suck. And I got the Giants and Niners wrong. Because the Giants suck. So who wins there? Um. What, what else is there to talk about here? Um, Patriots-Broncos. Um, what is that? Three weeks in a row, the Broncos defense did terrible. Got my phone right here. I actually got it open for once. So I'm not going to take seven fucking years to, uh, to uh, say something about a team or a player. And the Broncos in the last three weeks... What are we at here? Okay. So the last three weeks, they have given up 29, 51, and 41 points. The Broncos' defense. They're not good anymore. Broncos' defense isn't the best defense in the league anymore. What defense is the best defense in the league? For me, it's going to be either the Jaguars or... It's not the Seahawks anymore. Richard Sherman's out for the season. It's going to be either Jacksonville Jaguars, maybe even the Saints. You could even argue the Saints' defense is top tier. So, but the Vikings are also really good defense. Probably one of those three teams, in my opinion. Um, and maybe even the Panthers, too. It's probably top four. I don't know what order yet. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, Richard Sherman's done for the season. And um, also, that 91-60 and 60 record on the season, that puts me out from the 10-4 and 4 outcome in Week 10. It also means there's still an odd number. But that's going to end this week. Let's get into it. You'll see why in just a second. Week 11 predictions. And starting off with tonight's game. So I'll probably get this out tomorrow morning. Titans Steelers. Now this game, they are playing at the Madden camera angle for most of the angles. As they said, for most of the game, it's going to be at the Madden camera angle. I don't care about that. <laughs> cool, I guess. Um, Steelers are at home. They're 7 2. So, I think we're going to go to Steelers. Next up, Lions Bears. Oof. I don't know, man. I don't know. How'd the Lions do last week? I literally just completely phased out of my head how the Lions did. They beat the Browns. They didn't beat the Browns that well. It was a close game for most of it. Like, if you were watching that game, it was a close game. It was like. One possession game at half. So, pretty close game. Um, even though the score doesn't really show, the score is 38-24. But, uh, still though, I think I'm going to go with the Lions over the Bears. So, yeah. Jags, Browns, Jags. There you go. Ravens, Packers. If the Ravens defense plays like the Ravens defense that we keep thinking that it's going to be, then I'm going to go with the Ravens. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with that, I think. I don't know. Brett Hundley probably got out of that one easily. 31 degrees in Lambeau? He hasn't played in that yet, I don't think. He hasn't played in that freezing cold. So, Ravens over Packers. Cardinals? Texans? Hmm. Um, Texans lost to... Well, they lost to the Rams last week. So, who, everyone's been... Everyone's losing to the Rams. Um... And Cardinals, they barely lost to the Seahawks. If I'm not mistaken, I already forgot the score. Yeah, 22 16, one possession game. So, Drew Stanton's looking alright. Adrian Peterson's looking alright. And, uh, I, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Let's go with the Cardinals. It's four straight away wins. Here's the game I'm talking about Bucks, Dolphins, the week one game. The week one game. That pack in week one 
I chose the Buccaneers, and I gotta stick with that. I'm gonna have to stick with the Buccaneers. But thinking about it right now, which, who would I pick in this situation? Well, I think I'd probably still pick the Bucks because the Dolphins have gotten just blown out for what three weeks in a row. Eh, they lost. They lost 27-24 to Oakland, but that game wasn't really. You have to watch that game. That game wasn't. They 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 suck. And, uh, and then they lost forty nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Bucks. You know it's Fitzpatrick and uh, and well Evans is coming back so. Ooh, this game looks good. Vikings Rams. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. It's gonna be a good one. Both teams are seven and two. Both teams are seven and two. Um, hmm. Ah, I feel like the Rams could win. I feel like I feel like they could win this game. Defense might not matter in this game. I think it's just gonna be points on points. Case Keenan put up a lot of points. But their defense almost blew that game. It was a one possession game at the end of it. The Rams though. Oh, the Rams are too good. We're going with the Rams. Chiefs, Giants. Giants season's over. They got nothing to play for now. They're one and eight. Eagles are even one. They can't win the division. It's impossible. There's seven games left. They could tie. They could. They, they play the Eagles though. They play the Eagles one more time, so it's impossible for them to tie. Cause they're not beating the Eagles. The Eagles are too good. I I mean. You also like they have to win out. The Eagles have to lose out. The chances that happens is so slim. So, Chiefs over Giants. Redskins, Saints. Saints have won seven in a row. So, we are gonna go with the Saints. Bills, Chargers. Hmm. Hmm. Um. The Bills announced today that Tyrod Taylor will be benched this week. And some guy named Nathan Peterman or something like that is starting. I don't know who that is. Um, Chargers win. Bengals, Broncos. Both teams mediocre. Shitty offense, though. Ugh. Denver Broncos offense is a little bit better. I was just shitting on the Broncos' defense, man. But, I mean, I feel like that's not going to matter this game. I feel like the Broncos could win it. So, we'll go with the Broncos. Patriots Raiders in Mexico. Fun little fact there. Game's in Mexico. Um, the Raiders lose this game. Their season's done. They have to win out. It's almost impossible for them to make the playoffs if they lose this game. It's got the Chiefs soaring high. And then you got people like the Patriots in your in your conference that are also there. And, uh, yeah. And also, you're going to have to have the Ravens. Like, you're, they have a hunt for the wild card here. And the Ravens, the Bills, and probably the Chiefs. Not the Chiefs. The Chiefs are in that division. So, yeah, the Ravens and the Bills. So, you, that's going to be a tough chase. Even the Titans. Titans or Jacksonville. One of those two teams are also going to be in the hunt. Because one of them is winning the division. The other is going to be in the wild card. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to take the Patriots. Eagles, Cowboys, no Elliott still. He's actually gone. He's coming back week 16 versus the Raiders. That's a fact. Um, wait a second. Is that a news alert? No. Um, so Eagles win. And finally, Falcons, Seahawks. No Richard Sherman. But they signed Byron Maxwell. So... That's cool. Is that going to do much? I don't know. Is Earl Thomas playing? I don't know. I'm hearing something about Cam Chancellor, too. So, that whole Legion of Boom is fucked. But, I mean, they still got a pass rush. They still got a decent pass rush. I mean, let, let me let me just make sure my facts are correct. I'm going to check the injury report here. Uh, Sherman... Yeah, he's on IR. Uh, 
doesn't really say anything about anyone else. So, yeah. Who do I want to win this game, though? Hmm. Who do I think will win this game? I mean, you're in Seattle. That's like one of the hardest stadiums to play in. Falcons lose this game. Their season's going to be very difficult to come out in the playoffs. I mean, in the in the in the NFC right now for wild card, you have the Seahawks because the Rams are just sweeping through everyone. You're gonna have either the Saints or the Panthers. Panthers are on by. Yeah, Panthers are on by. <laughs> Saints or Panthers that are one of them winning the division, the other isn't. So you gotta go through them too. And then, like. Then maybe even the Lions could be in that that uh thing because the Vikings are winning the division at this rate. If the Vikings win this game, they're definitely winning the division. That's for sure. Um, one of the, yeah between the Seahawks and Rams, one of those teams are probably making wild card. So the Falcons lose this game is gonna be very difficult for them to make the playoff push. So they're definitely gonna try their ass off. But I mean, the Seahawks. I feel like they could. I don't know though. Can they still win this game without Sherman? Oh, they barely pulled it out with Earl Thomas. Yeah, they had 10 days rest. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. And yeah, there's your predictions. So yeah, guys, yeah. So we're finally, this is an odd number of games, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What? Oh, yeah. Wait, that doesn't add up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How does that not? It doesn't add up to a... I guess because I never... I don't know, man. I definitely didn't miss any predictions. Because this is the game from week 11. But there can't be three teams... I don't know, man. <sighs> What's going on here? <laughs> I guess I'll have to look back on something. But yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to all the crazy stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.